hear a lot about cryptocurrency. Recently, Elon Musk, he invested 1.5 billion in Bitcoin. There's a lot of uh, concerns, issues, there's possibility of fraud, just not understanding what exactly that is. So I'm sitting here with Lynn Egan, who is my deputy securities commissioner, and she's gonna talk a little bit about crypto cryptocurrency, how to understand what it is and avoid being taken advantage of. So Lynn? Well, cryptocurrency isn't what you think it is. I mean, the word currency can be a bit misleading. Cryptocurrency is technically a digital file system that creates and maintains user balances, generally on a blockchain, and it's not backed by any central authority or bank. It is literally thin air. It's ones and zeros on a blockchain. Right, interesting. So my understanding is this is widely unregulated. So how do people protect themselves? Well, uh, a cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin isn't regulated per se by any regulator. However, it depends on how you buy it. There may be a regulatory structure. Um, if somebody is purchasing bit Bitcoin or a cryptocurrency for use as a medium of exchange, doesn't need to be regulated. It is just simply taking the place of a dollar or a fiat currency. But if you're purchasing Bitcoin for the purpose of investment, and that appears to be where it has gone in the past few years, you need to make sure that the Bitcoin vendor or the currency vendor is properly regulated that it's legitimate and the person offering and selling it to you even exists. It should be onshore, not offshore. And um, there's a lot of things you can do to protect yourself. But again, it is literally thin air. So anything else that uh, a potential investor should look out for when they're investing? Well, a Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency is very volatile and there's nothing backing it. And if you lose your e-wallet, it's gone forever. So investors need to understand what they want the investment to do. If you're going to put money into something that could vanish overnight, that could become immediately, immediately illiquid, you need to make sure that this is the right decision for you. If you're using money that you can't afford to lose, is this the right investment opportunity for you? There's a lot of things you can do. Talk to a professional. Call our agency. We have tools at our hands, or we can send you to somebody that can look into the opportunity and attempt to legitimize it for you. Right. So, um, what would you say the the typical recourse would be? Somebody thinks they've made a bad investment, made a mistake. You know, what what are the places they should look? What should they do about that? Well, before you invest, the best thing to do is call before you invest. Right. But if you've already sent your money somewhere and you get red flags pop up or you get a sense that something's wrong, call us. Call your county attorney, call the FBI, reach out to anybody that will listen. We get together frequently. There's a synergy in the number of people you reach out to. Time is of the essence. Again, there's a lot of cryptocurrency scams. There's bogus um, exchanges. There's pump and dump screen, uh, schemes on cryptocurrency. Uh, there are people that hack your cryptocurrency account and pull the, pull the asset out of there. The more people you involve when there's a problem, the better the chance of a positive outcome. Right, that's really interesting. Um, obviously, this is kind of a brave new world, a completely new thing for all of us, and it, it's fascinating, but it comes with its uncertainty and pitfalls. And uh, I just uh, want to thank you for all of that. Is there anything else you think that our, our uh, listeners should uh, know about? Well, uh, my one word of advice to anybody is if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Bitcoin today is trading at $47,250. Two years ago, it was under $10,000. Who knows where it's gonna to be tomorrow or if it'll even be here tomorrow. Right. Um, if you're going to invest, be careful and don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Right, I think that's good advice for, for most investments. Know what you're buying, uh, make sure that you have the risk tolerance for it, understand who you're buying it from. I, that's all good advice, I think, for investments in general. Absolutely. So I just wanna thank you for being here. And again, if anybody has further questions, just reach out to our office. We're at uh, csimt.gov or give us a call, thanks.